Welcome to the internet tubes that bring you to the stream.tv. Today we have Awkward Conversations presents Comics and Cocktails. So grab your latest issues and sit down for a drink with Anastasia, Darth Boobs Washington, and Nathan, Angry Baby Lichman. Ew. She, she's going to do that every time. Yes. She pretends like I'm gross, guys. Because he is. You guys, you get the joke? Like, I'm, I'm gross. gross. And an awful person. But, you know, we're joined by somebody who's definitely not gross. Definitely not. Or an awful person. <laughs> mm -mm. And we're not being sarcastic at all. It is Glennis <laughs> Pruitt. And she is a friend of ours. She... Uh, runs Comic Book Hideout, the store in Fullerton, California. Which is a great comic book store. It's an amazing if you've ever, comic book store. Ever, or in that neighborhood. It's the best comic book it store is. in Orange County. <laughs> <laughs> it is. And they have all kinds of cool activities. And But recently, we got to see you on the small screen? The TV, the, the big, TV the big. Is it, <laughs> depends it's probably on how bigger, big It's probably your bigger TV. than the screens most people are watching this on. True. True. Okay. So we saw her on Geeks Who Drink, yeah. and we were inspired by your team name to uh, make you a drink. The Maze Rum Runner. Right. Yeah. So that's exactly what we have. So we're going to do Ooh, that looks so a good. blackberry <laughs> mojito. So I'm just going to muddle this blackberry and mint. Muddle and it. And I'm going to muddle it. Can that's you muddle it faster? Yeah. Just really get in there. Well, it is a little awkward to muddle on screen, but you kind of wanted it because as it's, like a, you make eye it's like a funny looking thing. You think if I just make muddle. eye contact? Like muddle and eye contact. Wow. I'm doing it. I'm dancing you, too. Is that how you make eye contact with I people? I think so. <laughs> I don't know how to actually socially interact with people. It's okay. The drink so will be good. I have some Excellent. blackberry mint, lime juice, lemon juice, and some sugar. And then we're just going to add some, some spiced rum because it is the rum rum. Ooh, And then uh, we're just going to top it off with some club soda. That's Ooh, really easy, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's. I'm gonna give it a good. I'm gonna give it a good. Yeah, it's gonna happen. It's great. We're gonna give it a good. I'm excited. I think it was really easy because somebody else made it. Is that? Is that? It didn't seem that hard. That's why our show works actually, because I make all the drinks. Cool. Well, let's. There you go. Let's get Take that with you, and we're gonna go sit. It takes you so long. Sit down. Should I? Okay. All right. I just I wasn't sure if you wanted a little bit of soft shoe or. So, um, tell us about Comic Book Hideout and what makes it so awesome. I know, but for our, our <laughs> viewers. Uh, Why is it the best comic book store in Orange County? Yeah. Go. Uh, the last person that said, this is the best comic book store ever. It has a cat. Yeah. That, that was That's all person. that you need, that right? Was one person. Just the cat? Do you, which, <laughs> was were you the one who said that? <laughs> no, it wasn't me. <laughs> no, I think he was like seven. So, uh, oh. but uh, the reason why Comic Book Hideout You're is... You're big with the young person set. We are. We okay. are. I have a whole kids section that's good for kids 10 and under. Okay. And uh, I have a massive collection of back issues. Nearly half a million comic books in my store. Whoa. So if you're looking for anything that you didn't get to catch when it came out, then my back, my back issue section is the way to go. Yeah. Uh, I also have a game section. I just increased my trade section to almost 5,000 trades. Oof. So I've got a whole bunch of trade paperbacks, graphic novels, uh, comics, games, toys. I've got really, really cute uh, Studio uh, Ghibli, uh, Kiki, and Totoro dresses and t-shirts oh. in right now. They're adorable. So basically, she has nothing, right? You have just nothing in any of your stores. So basically, you if, you, if there's something you're looking for, you guys have it. And you've got such an amazing atmosphere. I've been there for game nights. We eventually got out the Nerf guns and oh played my God. it. It was amazing. I still so, remember so the, the epic Nerf gun fight we, we had, had in your store. We had an epic Nerf gun battle. <laughs> it was one of the best moments of my entire life. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and I've been to downtown Los Angeles. <laughs> I'm saying it because was one of the best times ever. The last time you visited my store, it was in my very first location. So that was only 1,000 square feet. My new location, which I don't know if you guys... You have a new location. I, well, it's not new anymore. I've been there for two years. but uh, the We're slacking. <laughs> yeah, we're slacking. We're slacking. But you guys have been so busy. We but have. We're, we're a little bit busy. My store is 3,000 square feet. Whoa. And has a full lounge. Remember my old store? I had like a cute little lounge. It was basically like this big. Now I have a full lounge, a full gaming area. So wow. we do Friday Night Magic. Wednesdays we have game nights from 7 to 10 where we play board they games, do Friday tabletops. Night Magic. 
It's a different kind of magic. Oh, I was all prepared. I'm like, I'm gonna do some illusions <laughs> for getting this on. And then she's like, it's a card game. I, it's a card game. I have had so many disappointed magicians show up. <laughs> was Nathan at, at there every week, the, right? At least three magicians have shown up. You guys, I'm a little like, slow. <laughs> I'm a little slow. It takes me like five or six weeks of continuing to show up to realize that you're not talking about my kind of magic. Well, then we just make you do tricks, and so. I do tricks on the street corners sometimes. It's a different kind of magic oh. as well. <laughs> different kind of magic as well. So speaking, you know, speaking of magic, mm -hmm. I mean, there's nothing more magic and nothing more geeky than some Shakey's Mojo potatoes. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> yes. Would you agree? I, I'm gonna I think you would Shakey's agree. Mojo I think potatoes might be the geekiest. Would you like one? I would. Because Shakey's is a great sponsor of ours. They sponsor all of our food on set, and they're gonna ha sponsor all kinds of great things mm -hmm. over the course of this season. And, and the most important one, mojo potatoes. I mean, we mm -hmm. don't need anything else. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. now I realize that mm -hmm. Anastasia is a very slow chewer. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna vamp. This, by the way, is called vamping. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm doing now. Mm -hmm. And I'm covering the fact that Anastasia is literally the slowest chewer ever. Okay, good. I'm good. Now you wanna talk so I can eat my mojo potato? Absolutely. Did you like that vamping? <laughs> I thought it was very good. So you were recently on Geeks Who Drink, mm -hmm. um, and how was that experience? It was really fun. It was a really, really fun show. Um, Zachary Levi is awesome. He's and a dreamy. fantastic host. Very dreamy. Very dreamy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it was really fun. I'd never done anything like that before, so it was interesting to be able to meet geeks and film something similar to this, but you know, like on a really large scale with a big live audience. Oh, sure. All kinds of fun stuff. Sure, tell us that sure, our show we're is just small scale. We're small. We're small no, I, this we are small awesome. potatoes. Honestly, but being literally. able to sit in a chair and not stand up behind a bar is really nice. Oh. So, <laughs> so you're saying we're better than them in some We way. are. See, there you go. Obviously. I'm more comfortable and I get a cocktail. Speaking of trivia, you wait. thought you could relax. Yeah. <laughs> but wait, I have a question. Okay. She said, I have a cocktail. You didn't get a cocktail in Geeks Who Drink? Oh, no, I had many, many, many cocktails. Okay, I was going to say, it is <laughs> Who Drink. This one this one is especially delicious, comparatively. Oh, okay, good. Because um, I made it just for you. Thank you. So speaking of trivia, now, this might be a little difficult for you because we are sponsored by King Trivia, which is the competitor <laughs> to Geeks Who Drink. Okay. And so the trivia, I'm just going to tell you, is going to be awesomer. But I hope, I hope you can cope with it. Okay. I am going to cope with the awesome right. trivia. Okay. So here's the first question. What is the most expensive single issue of a comic ever sold at auction? Mind blown. And I will tell well, you, it was sold for $3.2 million. It and would have to be either Action Comics, the first Superman, or Amazing Fantasy 15. But you already got Superman. it. You already got it. Action Comics number one. $3.2 million. Whoa! $3.2 million. Did you know that Nick Cage sold his Action Comics number one, and that was a trivia question on Geeks Who Drink, and my team did not listen to me, but in my heart I knew that I got it right. Oh, nice. That's always a nerve-wracking thing when you're on a team. <laughs> now, like, I know this, I got this. And you don't know this. your team until right before you shoot. So exactly. It's like, now 3.2 million, that's what we're making for this show, right? Right. Okay. Um, and you have comics at your shop that are 3.2 million, right? Oh, yeah. What is, actually, Loads what is the them. rarest comic that you have in your store? The rarest? Yeah. Well, Comics are a little bit interesting as far as rarity okay. because rarity doesn't always mean value. Okay. You know, it's hard to get your hands on a dark claw number one as a rare. But there aren't that many people who are comic. like running out. But it's and probably it. a three dollar book. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> okay. All right. So to date, how many separate secret wars have broken out in the Marvel universe? To date, there was the first secret wars in the late eighties. Okay. And then there was. The Secret Invasion, which is okay. not Secret Wars, because that was in the early 2000s, and then now the current Secret Wars. So, so three or two? two? Well, you'd be right with three. Oh, three. So let's so go are with they three. See, Secret I was invasion? coaching you. I was like, three. Are they counting Secret Invasion? I guess, yeah, in 2004. Yeah. 2004, yeah. so they yeah. must be. Um, and finally, what year was the first issue of Robert Kirkman's Walking Dead release? Oh, hmm. it was six years ago, right? A little bit more. Eight, eight years ago? Yeah, yeah sure. If we're counting backwards in time. I can do math, See, this guys. is math. This is math. No, is it's more than 2003. <laughs> 2003. 2003. 2003. Oh, much more. Yeah, okay. much more. I, I was would thinking, think it was I was like, like remembering when my dad brought home the first trade because it had already been out for a while. And 
So I read like the trade paperbacks of that when it was first coming out. I think I was in high school still. So, yeah, a Very long time cool. ago. You were in high school in the, <laughs> in, the, in the beginning of the 2000s? Yeah, I graduated in 2005. Me too. You guys are babies. So, <laughs> um, you can find awesome trivia at kingtrivia.com. And look there for, for where you can play the trivia. All the trivia. All the trivia. <laughs> so, speaking of other fun games, I don't know what that's what we were speaking of, but speaking of other fun trivia games. Trivia is fun. Uh, trivia. You should take three of these, and then you're going to choose Mary Screw, Kill. They are Marvel characters. They won't bite. Characters. What if I want them to bite? Well, then they bite. <laughs> I think I have three. Okay. I might have, no, I only had two. Okay. They're so long you and have, skinny. You're going to have three. Okay. okay. I have three. So there's three. So that happens. Now choose <laughs> Mary Screw, Kill, and then. We're going to very quickly, right, have her draw the way she will kill one of these people. Yes. Ooh, how exciting. Yeah. Okay, so I have Thor. Yeah. Jane Foster Thor. Okay. okay. So Lady Thor. I have Miss Marvel, which is the new Kamala. Yes. Khan. And Tony Stark Iron Man. Okay, so Ooh. Mary, this is, screw, this kill. This is really... This it's is really hard choice tough one here. for you. I feel like easy for Mary. Well, easy for you. Like easy for tough Mary. For, well, see, for you'd want to, you'd want to marry Tony yeah. for the money, right? And, and you know, the gadgets. She's thinking like me. And, and all of the, you know, things. The gadgets. But you know, I'm usually the gold digger. You are. Yeah. You know that you'd really ultimately want to marry someone sweet like Kamala, because then they'd be with you for the rest of your life, sure. and you'd want I them guess. to be nice and not like an alcoholic <laughs> jerk like Tony Stark. And then Jane Foster. Maybe I look for the wrong things in life. You kind of do <laughs> look for the wrong things in life. Well, see, Lady Thor is super badass, but she's not going to be around forever. True. True. So, True. you know. She's got some. She's, she's time, not doing time, so time. well. Yeah. She's problems. got a little time sensitivity. OK, yep. so, so, <laughs> so which um, one are you marrying? So I'd probably have to marry Miss Marvel. Okay. Screw Tony Stark. Yeah. And kill Thor. All right. Because Jane Foster, she's already on her way out. Like she's right. not going to last. So, so you're doing you know. like a Doctor Who game. <laughs> <laughs> it's really it's for your own good. So if, I, listen, if it has to happen to anyone, so you know. So listen, we're gonna have you draw a stick figure of Thor being killed. Okay. Does that work? How are okay, you gonna you kill can put your Thor. drink down? And 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 while and then, and then here's those. Okay. And while you're drawing, yeah. uh, let's just talk about some of our sponsors. Shakey's Pizza, yeah. amazing sponsor, and Mojo. You can get Mojo potatoes. Delicious, you can get delicious, chicken, delicious. You can get salad. They have a great buffet. It's amazing, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, if you want more awesome trivia, then you know a, we should a cable. stop putting Glennis on television and making her do trivia. I'm just gonna say <laughs> <laughs> I'm really good at trivia if no one is there. Well, I'm like the good. invisible boy from she, Mystery she Men. She got all of them she right. Got like, all of them she right. got <laughs> literally all of them right, and she's complaining. Yeah. She's like, yeah, that didn't do well. But so. did I win a TV? No. No. I'm just saying. You just did saying. win our company. Oh, and that's even better. Yeah. <laughs> and if you play trivia, you can win gift cards yeah. at bars all over the local area. So go to kingtrivia.com to find your closest one. And also, uh, shout out to Cheeky yep. and the stream.tv where you are currently watching us, or nerdreactor.com where you are currently watching us. <laughs> yeah, those are some great places to check us out. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can also look for us on Facebook at Awkward Conversations Podcast, or on Twitter if you're on that Twitter thing. Which the whole <laughs> world is, but Nathan. Yeah, I'm the only one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally the only person on the planet who yeah. does not have Twitter. I have two Twitters. I actually do have a Twitter. I just haven't updated it since what, like 2013? Probably. Yeah. So if you want tweets from me, wink, wink, yeah, you're going to really? get them from me. Really, really, yeah. So <laughs> go to Awkward Convo Pod on Twitter yeah. and uh, check us out. Hashtag comics and cocktails. That's a good, yeah. good hashtag. You see, I know the lingo. Comics in cocktails. In with an N. Mm. In. Mm. Mm. Sounds like you're German. Mm. Are you part of Hydra? Feel Hydra. All right. <laughs> so, uh, wow, Glennis is doing an amazing job here. <laughs> All right, are you ready so to reveal? I, I say, think the I have hammer to say that fell on Thor. I have to say that I um, teach a class, okay. a comic book creation course. Uh, I teach it with the Fullerton School District and with um, kids at my store in Comic Book Hideout. Awesome. And I teach them all of the basics, uh, beginning. Uh, story structure and script writing, telling the kids how to create heroes and villains. And the art portion 
is not taught by me. It's taught by my <laughs> friend Wilt, who is a professional artist. Okay. And so, uh, so this don't is not, judge me on this is how the course get. goes where by how people, this looks. Where can people take the class? People can take the class at Comic Book Hideout. They can okay. check out my new uh, fall schedule at www.comicbookhideout.com. Comicbookhideout.com. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, I am offering courses through the shop and then also through different uh, facilities all over Fullerton and hopefully uh, up in the LA area like Arcadia, Pasadena, maybe Burbank. Awesome. Soon. So what all other... of that information is on my website. Okay, great. So go to that. What is there any other cool thing that you can do at uh, comicbookhideout.com? Yeah, on uh, comicbookhideout.com you can see what's going to be up in our gallery. It has a full calendar of our uh, most recent and current events coming up. So I do gallery shows with new local artists and also student showcases uh, in the shop every month. And then we have special events like uh, this Sunday. I don't know when this is going to air, so it probably won't be relevant. But this Sunday we're doing a Harry Potter celebration, so we're going to. I don't even know that. what day it is. What's going on? <laughs> Time is wibbly wobbly. Someday she has some things, and you should go to comicbookhideout.com to learn what they are. Okay, yeah, so now we've got it. We've got to see it. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Ready? This is Thor's hammer, right? Mjolnir. Okay. And yeah. what is it doing? Well, we used Hank Pym's designs to magnify it to giant proportions and then just kind of splat. Yes. I like it. You just dropped it on Thor. <laughs> yeah, we just caught her off guard. Now, how did you pick up the hammer? Well, no, no, see, no. we used the, the ray to enlarge it, and then as it became enlarged, it just kind of... Oh, it off. just like hit, hit, yeah. hit yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I like that. Mm -hmm. That's a good way to die, right? I, I think it might be very painful, but... I mean, well, you know, the initial squish is probably pretty quick, and then yeah. you would bleed out in like three seconds. All right, so good way to die. All Thor's right. hammer. So <laughs> check out Glennis at comicbookhideout.com. And is there a Twitter also? also? Yep, I'm Comic at Book CB Hideout. Hideout. CB Hideout. For okay. Twitter. And then at Comic Book Hideout for the Instagram. Perfect. Awesome. Well, check us out. The, check her out. The shop is 215 West Commonwealth Avenue. If awesome. people are writing down this information <laughs> diligently. Well, they can watch it back. It's YouTube. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. So, uh, Comic Book Hideout in downtown Fullerton. All right. Let's, let's let's cheers. Cheers. And thank you so much thank for being on the show. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being the on. Room, room, room. For more comics and cocktails. You hit that button and subscribe to the stream.tv. Cheers.